everybody, welcome back to What The Face Glitch here, and uh, I have found, you know, I have this box, and I throw a ton of stuff in that box, and it sometimes, I go back in the air, I look for something, but this time I went really far down into the box, and I found Jeeves of Hudson Street. Now this has been through the mill, you can see, look at the, the wrapping, it's been in the box for a long time, but... What I intend to do is try to shave with this. Now I do believe that um, that company is no longer in business and it's a shame because he was a very nice man and the artisans were really really nice people and um, I just I wish them well I hope uh, they're doing well but I did try to look to see if uh, if they were around and uh, it looks like their their domain name is gone and all traces of them are gone. So, regardless of that, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to use this. And uh, we'll put it in a bowl, bring it to the face, and uh, we'll talk about the results. So, uh, stick around. Uh, don't go away. And uh, I have a couple of things I want to talk about. Namely, a toaster and the servant. Don't go away. Okay, so here's the bowl. You can see there's nothing in it. And this is the soap that we're talking about. And I'm going to just peel this off of here. Yeah, it's, it's quite old. And um, I probably will just toss this after I use it. I have so much that just keeping this around for another X amount of years wouldn't make any sense. But this is a barbershop scent. Just trying to take all the the wax wrapping that has been on there for years. I'm sure it's been been a while. So here's the soap. It's pretty rock solid. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to massage the soap into the bowl by just warming it up with my fingers and then just pushing it into the bottom of the bowl as you can see right there. Now you know me, I the way I like to place soap in the bowl may not be the same way as everybody else but I like to have a lot of soap and and why is that? It's well it's because I have a lot of it <laughs> It doesn't matter if I put a little soap in. It's I have so much everywhere in this home that uh, me using just a little bit more than say the average person, I, I you know it, it's going to be fine. <laughs> People sometimes tell me you're yeah, using way too much because you don't need that much. I said, do you realize that I make soap? For a living. Do you understand how much I have in this home? <laughs> they don't get it. <laughs> so this has a nice fragrance to it. It is a barbershop. Um, and uh, it looks like I have successfully done that. Um, if you just warm it up in your fingers, you could see that it comes right off. Right? So... I'm going to um, just put this on the side and I have my brush here which is the the wet the face brush and we also are using the Occam's razor which is right here for the shave so let me just wet down this brush put the contents of the brush in the bowl and let's get starting Let's get started to lather. So I'm just gonna. Oh, look, see? It's thirsty because it's very dry. The soap itself is dry. But it's making a lot of lather already. So. Even though this has been dormant for quite a while, 
doesn't matter. And I think really, when it comes down to it, I think this is enough. There you go. You can see it. So I'm going to put this on the side and uh, just show you the inside of the bowl. And I think that's going to be it. So we're going to bring this to the face and, and do the rest of the shape. So here we go. Okay, I have about uh, seven days growth. So let me wet the face. And uh, this is the, let me just fix this up here. This is the brush. There we go. Oh, my hands are now all full of lather. So let me apply it. Here we go. It's going on very nicely. And anybody who has these soaps, I would say use it sparingly because there's just no way you can get them unless you go to someone who's selling it online, you know, is used. It's getting right in there. Okay, there you go. Let me just wash out the bowl. That's what I want to do right now. I'm just washing out the bowl. And I'll finish that up later. Just a quick rinse and dry my hands. Um, maybe one has to wonder if. Uh, the you know the war in Ukraine had something to do with his absence. I don't know. So here we go. Here's the Occam's razor, and let's start. So yeah, I have a story about when I when I was married. Uh, it was back in the 80s. I got married in 88. And um, we bought a co-op in the village in the woods. It was a nice little place. We lived on the top floor. A man was out of climb. Holy shit, I couldn't do that now. I couldn't do that climb now. Not every day. I can hardly do the subway climb <laughs> to get to work. But, um, you know, my wife fixed it up really nice. You know, we used the money from our uh, wedding to fix it all up. And uh, two things that I contributed to the interior design, which I am not of. I wouldn't know anything. Colors. And, uh, I bought a, a Mitsubishi 35 inch color TV and it had like a wooden, a wooden frame to it, you know, cabinet. And she loved it because she, she loves to like match things with it. And uh, that was, that was a good uh, contribution. And then uh, one crazy one. Uh, I just got a job as an IT guy um, in a new company and I was making good money and uh, I figured I want this thing and this thing was I'd never seen one like this before now remind you it's years ago it's in the 80s but it was a a Porsche design toaster now this thing was pretty cool looking for its day 
and uh, it costs like two hundred dollars. And at the time, I knew it was kind of dumb to spend two hundred dollars on a toaster, but we talked about it, and it was just something that I wanted to do. And she gave in, so I bought it. And when I brought it home and set it up and everything, she says, this is really nice, but she said, this thing better last forever for $200. And, you know, I think she might have cursed it because, you know, there's, there's new toasters now. There's, they have all kinds of designs and really cool looking stuff. But this damn thing hasn't stopped working since the day I bought it. It is, and I want a new toaster. I want something new. But I promised her, you know, as long as this thing goes, that's the one we'll have. And damn it, man. <sighs> 35 years and this toaster's still going. It performs the same as it did the day I got it. I don't know what the moral of the story is. But I've never, I've never purchased anything that has lasted that long. Even the TV that I owned and purchased at the, about the same time, that's gone. That crapped out a lot quicker than the toaster. So, before I kick the bucket, I'd like to get another one. Now, I went on eBay to see, like, has anybody really been showing these, you know, selling these or what? And I found two of them, all like, um, all of them are, um, are broken. And they're selling them for various, various uh, prices. One was, uh, one was like fifty bucks. The other one was one hundred and forty-nine. They both needed heating elements. They both came with all the manuals and the and the packaging and stuff. But um, the third one was in working condition and it had all the stuff they wanted three hundred dollars for it so I guess at you know I guess the purchase was a good one because it did last that long but holy crap man I never expected it to last this long All right, we're done with the shave part. Ah. All right. Yeah, I can feel. I can still feel the slickness on my face with that. That's nice. And. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was um, the servant, and this is a M Night Shyamalan kind of thing. I think it's on uh, Apple Plus, I believe. And holy shit, it's it's on its fourth season. The fourth season is still going now, um, but I I'm already I did like a marathon on this thing. Uh, it was uh, the first, I'm on the third season right now, like kind of like the mid of the third season. And I do recommend this because it is, it is quite impressive. The acting is great. Um, Storyline is good. The one thing that uh, seems to bother me is M. Night Shyamalan when he when he has like a movie, it starts off great and then it kind of peters out and you, you know, it doesn't have like a real climactic ending, but 
I'm not sure he's mostly involved in this because I was looking at the writing and there's different writers and stuff. So he may not have uh, done everything in this. But um, so far, it's thumbs up. I really, you really gotta, really gotta watch it. It's got, of course, religious overtones to it um, because of, well, you'll, I'm not gonna tell you anything. Watch it. Um, let me just, I'm looking for an aftershave, so. Yeah, I almost, I'm almost done with the fine platinum. So let me try to end that bottle. It's done. You witnessing the end of an aftershave bottle. Oh, ow. All right. Gotta go see Mary. They moved her into a different room because she had COVID. And for those of you who don't know, my wife is a, she's in a nursing home. She's, she has uh, dementia and so on. She's had two strokes. She can't walk. <coughs> and um, so I visit her every other day. I used to do it every day. But I can't do it every other, every day anymore. But um, we, uh, she had COVID and uh, then I couldn't see her for like a week. So um, that really was a strain on her. But now I go see her and she's fine and she's actually uh, doing better than she was when, uh, when she was uh, in, in, uh, in a certain section. Like they moved her into a section I think that actually is more intense in care than say where she was before. So uh, I guess I'm thankful for that, right? I'm just cleaning out my brush. Normally I do all this stuff <laughs> when the camera goes off, but I'm doing it here. So, all right, here you go. That'll dry nice. I put it right on the windowsill. So there you have it, a great shave. Uh, good stories, good friends out there, and uh, I hope you have a good shave, and I will see you next week.